Hey, what is up, guys? So this right here in front of me is an HP NV Ultrabook Slim. So as you all guys know, this laptop is almost 10 years, 11 years old. It was manufactured back in 2011. So as you might already be knowing, this laptop contains a mechanical hard disk drive. As a result, the boot up times are very slow. So as you can see, I've sped up this video so that do not waste any time. As well as refreshing the desktop also takes a lot of time and even opening up applications uses up a lot of resources and as well as it gets really hot. So as you guys know, this contains a core i3 third gen and AMD uh, Radeon graphics, dedicated graphics. You can see all the specs right here, the integrated graphics and, and the dedicated graphics. So now this laptop is running really hot at 70 degrees Celsius, both the CPU and the GPU. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clean out the thermals and change the thermal pace. So now, as you can see, I'm going to remove the back cover. So now these are the internals, fairly simple. As you can see, it has a rather large battery. This is the mechanical hard drive and here is a MSATA SSD, which you can attach. It comes with standard 4 GB of RAM and another 4 GB of RAM has been added over the time by someone. The fan, the, the GPU as well as the CPU. So now what, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, remove the fan and as well as remove the heat sink. So now if you may have noticed one or two screws are, are stuck and they have been worn out so how how to remove this is that to take a plier and to twist the screw with it as you can see you have to be really gentle with it or else you can damage the other components on the motherboard now we can just go ahead and take a big phillips head screwdriver and remove it the rest of the way Now we can go and do the same method for the other screwdriver, making sure to not damage the motherboard. Once again, when the screw is loose, you can go ahead and take it out with a bigger Phillips head screwdriver. So now as you can see, I've removed the heat sink and I'm going to clean away this dried out thermal paste. This thermal paste is, is not very much dried out. So as a result, it will take quite a lot of effort. Over here, I'm using, uh, I'm using hand sanitizer, a toothbrush and a cloth to clean out this, the CPU and the GPU. But be very careful as there are small components attached on, this, on the CPU as well as the GPU. And accidentally breaking either one of them will result in the laptop not functioning again. So now after you are done, this dab a cloth over it. Now to clean out the fan and the heat sink. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and open the screws in the fan. And as you can see, the fan wasn't all that dirty. Now moving on to the heat sink. From here as well, you can see that the thermal paste wasn't as dried up as much. So it was very, very difficult to clean it out. Once again, we're using standard hand sanitizer, a toothbrush and a cloth. And as you can see, it's coming out fairly easily. Once again, we're just going to dab the cloth over it and remove out all the excessive liquid. And don't forget the, the heat vents, the heat sink. So now once that is done, we can go ahead and apply some new thermal paste. that's more than enough now we can go ahead and place the heat sink back on the cpu and the gpu as well as aligning it with the fan and now we're going to go ahead and put the screws back in now we're going to reattach the fan back into its place making sure to 
that the seat that the fan uh, lines up with the heat sink don't forget to connect the fan and, uh, and another upgrade added to this pc is a uh, test and m sata ssd a 512 gigabyte ssd to make this, to make sure this laptop runs a whole lot smoother and faster i forgot to record that part so i'm just put up images on the screen now we're going to go ahead and close the laptop and clear up a bit so now we want to go ahead and plug in our install usb and press the f12 key and when we come to this installation window, you can see the drill. Now, you know the drill, uh, format the SSD and format the HDD as two separate drives. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching.